Welcome to Make It Labs. My name is Christian. I'm Joe. Um, so this is our big clean space. Uh, we do electronics in here and computers and have meetings and General presentations. We have a Jacob's Ladder over here that was the result of a, a Jacob's Ladder build-off in Prom 2 one night. And it's we need warming to... up. Yep. And this looks like a Mendel. We have a half-finished Mendel Prusa rep wrap. That at some yeah. point will be finished. Members are picking nice. up from time to time. Yeah. We'll go over here. And then over here you've got a, a main cabinet over main there. Main cabinet. Yeah. People are playing uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on it. There we go. And then this um, is your this is our RFID signing system, kiosk, right? So we, we can have people sign up for membership and uh, get their RFID tag with the RFID reader. Nice. And kind of a little welcome box here with some, some old school text. Cool. And electronics benches. Yes, so this is our electronics bench yeah. with you know, the usual mess of any of any electronics bench. Cool. And then over into this space. This is our fabrication space. We have uh, storage for projects that people are working on. We have uh, a hand tool area. We have um, a mini mill, a mini lathe. We have a sandblaster and small drill press and books and stuff. Yeah. Over here we have the automotive area. So we have somebody that's working on a project car. We have a full automotive lift. We nice. have computer database of how to do every car repair since 1970. We have the bunker. Uh, this is our zombie escape plan. Uh, we'll be installing a still reinforced door. And at some point other at things some, will at happen some point, in there. there will be other things inside of here. Okay. We're we doing go. MIG welding in there right now for the most part. It's just a nice shelter Great. for MIG welding. Okay. Fully ventilated. And then so this is automotive. Automotive. Automotive tooling. This is our metal fabrication area, so we have grinders and cutters and um, some MIG welding as well. Some go-karts that were stripped down um, and we kind of consolidated all the best parts into one into one beautiful machine. Here's that switch. There's that switch. <laughs> and then you were saying that this was a group of uh, school students. Correct. Um, we had a group from a charter school that when the place was opening, um, they came in, they, they paid a small fee, and we taught them how to do welding and metal fabrication, etc. Uh, and they assembled a couple of different go-karts. They go scavenged a couple of... Yes, they, they scavenged them from parts off the internet, and uh, we ended up consolidating them into one... One, cool. one beast of a machine. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this thing has tail lights before Riley's truck. Hold on, it's brake lights. Oh yeah. There we go. Brake lights. So this is our uh, this is our TIG welding area. So we have some curtains here for protection. And we have a really nice synchro wave uh, welder for, for aluminum and specialty metals and, and it's a fancy toy. Very good. A uh, couple of kilns. Ceramics and glass kiln. It'll do light metals like copper and brass. And it'll have pottery kilns for doing more traditional pottery work. And they're fully auto ramps, so we can do all the temperature ramping as Okay. Some yeah. examples of stuff that have been done on that. This is all beer bottle glass that was smashed up. No kidding. And it turns a nice green color. And then this is actually clear, so you can put light through it. Uh, this is about the third revision of that. We get some leaves, leaves being made out of uh, green, uh, green bottle glass. This is uh, our big shiny toy. So this is the laser cutter. We purchased this after, actually after Maker Fair. Um, we saw how many things were being done with laser cutters, and we just had to get one ourselves. And you didn't just get a little. We didn't just get a little one. We got a big one. Uh, so we've been doing a couple projects. We did a couple test cuts. Um, but I think this is probably the fanciest thing that's been done on there. Is um, a, a hexapod robot designed on it. Oh, that's great. So he's trying to get to uh, do something. Do, do something fancier than sit there and look pretty. <laughs> so this is the Kickstarter project that we're having being worked on here. It's a uh, Kikori CNC gantry router. I was fully funded on Kickstarter and uh, we're having him come in. He was, he was uh, sheltering from the move at Artisans and needed a place to work. So we've given him space and, and he can make use of our tools and, and get his, his fully funded Kickstarter project accomplished. That's great. <laughs> and you excited to use the space? Oh yeah. It's good. Great. Here's the bathroom being constructed from the ground up. Uh, the so there was no bathroom? There was no bathroom. As makers, we had to make it, so. It That's exists. great. So it's there, it's plumbed, it it's functions. Plumbed. It's a lot nicer with the inside, as you can see. 
and it's up to code? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just like yeah, our electric there's sign, there it says. Yeah. And so what this is, is this one? So this is a little a little rental plot. Uh, so one of the services that we offer is that you can rent a uh, 100 square foot plot to do your own personal projects. Okay. Uh, so I work at a battery backup company, so I have a few extra batteries from the trash. <laughs> just um, a few? Just a few. Um, I have an electric wheelchair I converted into uh, a robot that I can drive around over Wi-Fi. Uh, I have a few other projects that are working on the benches and kind of my tools that I have. So this is kind of a rental space? Yeah, so this is a rental space. Okay. How many rent renters do you have? Uh, currently two. Okay. Uh, we're, we're planning on getting a few more as soon as we get okay. settled down. Uh, so this is more of our general added good. storage. And so this is storage for now. Now, Right. Right now things look a little bit... Um, a little bit hectic. Freshly we've been in, moved in. We've, we've yes. been in here and, and operating fully for about a month. So. Okay. And then we have vending machine we lovingly call Drinkbot. And then you know all the all the beverages any hacker could <laughs> could need, all the essential food groups. The essential food groups. Yes. Uh, okay. Right. And so you're you're in Nashua, New Hampshire. Right. Nashua, New Hampshire. Sort of a little bit difficult to find. <laughs> yep. Uh, we, we don't we don't intend it to be a speakeasy, speakeasy, but it's a little tough to find. Uh, we're we're a New Hampshire um, non-stock corporation, so we're 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 working with a uh, school factory, mm -hmm. which is a is a group that provides. Um, 501c3 group exemption status, so we can take donations. Uh, we plan on eventually being a, a full nonprofit 501c3. Um, so, yeah, great. It's kind of the structure. So it was, it was founded about a year ago. I left college and didn't have the workspace to, to do any of the stuff anymore. Um, so I, I need to find the space, and I need to find more importantly the people. Uh, I need to be surrounded by the kind of people who want to, to make it create. So, How many members do you have? Currently, I have 29. Uh, as, of, as of this morning. <laughs> okay. And um, how many did you have when you moved in? When I when I originally moved into the original space, uh, I, I had two. Uh, oh. So, so in, we, a, in a little over a year. Little over for, a year. But for yeah. almost about six or seven months, there was right. only it, maybe it, at it, the it, most seven. Right. Yeah, so it, say, it stagnated, yeah. and then around uh, January of this uh, of this year, something took off. A little bit of a spike, I don't know why. We got a few awesome people. Almost so. doubled in size at our small space. And we had a really tiny space. Yep. Uh, we doubled in size and then we looked for a new space and this is this yeah, we got We got a lot of awesome people, so we reformed. Now it's a board instead of, of just me running it. And now we're in a, a nice new big space and I think it's, it's the, really the takeoff point. That's uh, great. Since we've reopened, um, we went from, when we were in law, we were at 15. When we moved, we got to 10. And then the last month, we jumped up to 30. So we've actually kind of put a hold on marketing just to, to regroup yeah. and, and absorb it a bit. So That's it's, it's exciting. Cool. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much, and thanks for showing the space. Thank, thank you. you.